hey guys it's nicola and welcome back to my channel for today's look i have an easy simple and pretty soft glam for you guys so if you're interested on how to get this look then stay tuned so our first step is actually going to be to color correct i'm using my la girl hd pro conceal in the orange correcting shade we're correcting so our foundation would have less work to do when covering our dark marks. And if you're not as dark as me, then your color corrector should be more of a peachy pink shade. And I'm just going to take a flat foundation brush and blend out all of the corrector. For foundation, I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I'm using the Matte Poreless Formula because, as you know, I have oily skin. Okay. And I'm just going to take my time and blend that out using my flat buffer brush. When going over the areas in which you corrected, just make sure to use more of a padding motion versus a swiping buffering motion. But I like your vibe though. Don't mean you can't slide though. Think it's quite alright, yo. For concealer, I'm also using LA Girl for today's look, and I'm using it in the shade Toffee. Toffee doesn't have as bright of a yellow undertone. There is some pink in there, but I think the pink will lend itself to today's look. I'm going to take a dense angle blending brush and just blend out all the areas I concealed. I really want an airbrushed finish, so I'm really taking my time and making sure that the gradient between my concealer and my foundation is smooth. For contour, I'm using my Black Radiance Contour Palette in medium dark. And I'm going to take my F77 Sigma brush to just chisel out the sides of my cheeks. And then I'm going in for the sides of my nose with the smaller repurposed eyeshadow brush. I'm not going to say I don't like you a lot, babe. I'm trying to get to the... So because we are using some light muted colors for the eyeshadow, I'm going to go ahead and actually prime. I'm using my NYX HD Photogenic Concealer, and I'm using a really light shade just to make sure that the colors will show up on my skin. Don't mean you can't slide, though. Think it's quite all right, yo. Baby, come and shoot that shot. I'm going to let you know I'll talk. To set my eyeshadow base and to bake under my eyes, I'm using my, you already know, my Sasha Buttercup Banana Powder. I'm also going to do a little bit of, you know, some reverse contouring and whatnot. So for the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and use one of the nine color palettes from Nika K. This is in the style Mocha Mix. And I'm going to take that bottom right hand color there. And I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush and just fill out my crease until I get the desired pigment I want. I'm going to go ahead and deepen up my crease with that bottom left hand cornered color there. And then I'm going to further deepen up my outer V with the dark brown in the palette. I'm using the same brush as I did for the previous color just to help blend the two together as well. 
babe. But let me tell you, I like you a lot, babe. I wanna start at the top and the bottom, babe. Lastly, I'm gonna grab the white in the palette and I'm going to fill in that side part on my lid and I'm also going to do a cut creasing motion. And really take my time and pack on the intensity of that white. To prep for lashes, I am using the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara in black. And for blush, I am grabbing my e.l.f. Powder Blush Palette in dark, and I'm using the top left-hand cornered color there. As you can see, that's my favorite shade to use. For bronzer, I wanted something with a lot of shimmer, so I'm using my Milani Baked Bronzer in Soleil. And I'm just going to flush that all over my face. To melt everything together, I'm going to use my NYX Matte Finishing Spray, and I'm just going to douse my face in that, just to make sure that everything is seamless and melted together. For highlighter, I'm grabbing my Dirty Little Secrets Baked Highlighter in Soda Pop. The purple and pink reflexes in that highlight will really, really bring out the eyes and the rest of my face. And to apply, I'm just using a highlighter brush from Luxie Beauty. And then I'm using a smaller brush from Aesthetica to apply the highlight on the bridge of my nose and in my tear duct. For the lips, I'm going to start off by lining my lips with my Nikki K Bold Lip Liner. But this time, I'm using it in the shade Light Brown. And to fill in the center of my lips, I'm grabbing my NYX Butter Lipstick. This stuff is so soft, guys. And this is in the shade Snowcap. And that's it for this look, guys. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you do recreate this look, make sure to tag me on whatever social media you put it on. Share with your peeps, and until next time, you guys, peace.